Hello, this is Crochet Basics with KJ Lee, and in this episode, we're going to learn how to work in the round or to work in a circle. And this is perfect for hats, blankets, if you want a round doily or placemat or something to that effect. And even when you make plushies and stuff like that, you know, it, it's, it makes it a lot easier to work in the round. So there's a couple of ways of starting. So um, here's one basic one. If you do the crossover or the slip knot uh, to start, you would chain a few, okay, and then just work into that big center loop that you have here. Your uh, amount of stitches you need, you know, or you think you need, depending if you're working a pattern or if you're just working on the fly. So after you get to the amount of stitches that, you know, you need or you think you need or whatever and everything, you would start to uh, pull your tail tight, okay, and close up your loop. So uh, with this, then you would just slip stitch, okay, into the first, your first stitches that you made, okay? And then if you're doing a, a single or whatever, you would chain one, or if you were doing like a half double or a double, you would chain two, okay? And then you just work. Now with this, if you're, um, when you're working in the round, depending on what you're making, you're going to want to increase. And if you increase too fast, um, it'll get wonky. On this piece, I increased two uh, stitches per stitch from the previous row. So for every stitch here, I put in two double crochet. And it laid flat for about two or three rows. And then it got very wonky and, uh, you know, fan-like, uneven, like a little ruffle or taco. Anyway, and if you're going to make something like a, a plushie or something like that, you know, uh, a leg for a dog or a doll or some kind of something for somebody, then you would just, after you got your, your, your starting row in, you would just continue working straight up. And if you're going to do that, here's a tip, stuff as you go because it is a pain in the neck to get the stuffing all the way down when it's something long like this, okay? And this doesn't even seem that long, but this one was a little bit of a hassle because I waited till the end to stuff. So also, um, you know, work your patterns or uh, see how many stitches you think you need, you know, but you want, if it's a hat or something like, like a hat, once you get to, you know, where it's wide, if you're just doing it on the fly or whatever and you don't have a pattern, once you get to where you think it's wide enough, you can always fold it in half like this, you know, this is already finished, sorry, but fold it in half and you think, oh, well, my head is, you know, however, however many inches around, 20 inches, 22 inches around or whatever. So if it's double, if it's half that, right, so this is uh, eight and a half, so it would be um, 17 inches or whatever. And then instead of increasing, you just work the stitches down and you'll get the bowl effect so that the hat won't increase anymore and you won't have like something, you know, wonky depending on what you're making. And um, once you increase, it'll start to grow longer and even like that. Okay. So um, if you have any questions, please ask. And working in the round, it's, it's just like, you know, working back and forth. The only thing is uh, um, you don't want to increase too much and you don't want to decrease too much, you know, because depending on what you're making, you know, you want it to lay flat, you know, for like, you know, curved, a slow curved if you're making a hat or lay flat, completely flat if it's a doily or a rug or something to that effect. So if you have any questions, please ask. Um, if you want to learn more basics, you can go back and watch my other videos to learn uh, basic crochet stitches and what have you and a scarf pattern that I did. And um, please uh, subscribe and check out any future videos. I'm going to be doing a hat pattern next so that you can make a hat to match the scarf that you made if you worked the scarf from my previous video. So, um... Thank you so much. Happy hooking because it keeps you off the streets. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Take care now.